Hello dear viewers on the Ever Informational Program News on TV channel to present Folkras in studio Hussein Melikov. It is a thought that the final round of the Republican contest for Gusub Hidono Kitobas is being held in Dushanbe. 528 people participated in the Republic round of the contest and showed their skills and talents to the jury, the report of our colleagues in this regard. The final round of the Republican contest for Gusub Hidono Kitobas is taking place in the capital of the country, Dushanbe City. It should be said that the main purpose of this contest is to increase the test for reading, to strengthen intellectual power, to find new faces of speakers, to improve the vocabulary, to strengthen the spiritual world and among the population of the country, including students and representatives of professions, different and other sections of the country's population will be held. The participants of this contest in the category of children's adolescent literature and oral works, Bobeva Robia in first grade of secondary school number 52 of Small Somoni district in Dushanbe city, is satisfied with her participation and answers and hope that she will get a prominent places. According to the information of this year's jury, this year's participants were better than previous years. It was mentioned that the Republican contest for Gusub Kitobas is held in six nominations, literature for children and adolescents, modern Tajik literature, classic Tajik literature, poetry and prose. This year, 528 people participated in the Republican run of this contest and showed their talent to the jury. Problems of the development of the domestic tourism in modern times under the title of the Republican Scientific Practical Conference were held at the State Pedagogical University of Tajikistan named after Sadruddin Aini. The conference continued in five nominations on various topics, specialist researchers and experts gave specific reports. More details are further in the next report. On the initiative of the State Executive Authority of Dushanbe City in cooperation with the State Pedagogical University of Tajikistan, named after Sadruddin Aini and the Tourist Development Committee under the government of the Republic of Tajikistan, at the State Pedagogical University of Tajikistan, named after Sadruddin Aini Republican Scientific Practical Conference on the topic Problems of the Development of Domestic Tourism in the Moderns, was held with the participation of the Deputy Mayor of Dushanbe City, the Deputy Chairman of the Tourist Development Committee, and representatives of the Board of the Tajik State Pedagogical University named after Sadruddin Aini. First, the guests saw the display of scientific achievements of the scientists and students of the university. In the hall of the university, the opening part of the conference began with the singing of the national anthem. In the following, the deputy rector of this university mentioned during the opening speech that the disclosure of the problems of the development of domestic tourism in modern times is timely, and today's conference was held precisely for this reason, and it will be basis for solving the issues and problems related to the development of domestic tourism. During her speech, the deputy chairman of the city of Dushanbe spoke about the measures of the country's government in the direction of the development of the tourist industry, the process of creation in the capital of the country, the travel opportunities of the city of Dushanbe, and the critical issues of the development of domestic tourism. The deputy chairman of the tourist development committee of the country stated that over the past years, with the instruction and guidance of the president of the country, the attention of the government of the republic has increased to the development of the tourist industry and initiatives are being launched, and today's conference is within the framework of the implementation of the decision of the government of the Republic of Tajikistan. It should be noted that the work of the conference in first session on the topic, ecological tourism is an important factor of sustainable development and environmental protection. Natural resources is a factor in the formation of the tourist industry. The role of cultural and historical monuments of Tajikistan in the development of domestic tourism and critical issues of development, sustainability of domestic tourism and recreational areas of Tajikistan continued. Specialists and researchers gave specific presentations and discussed various aspects of the tourist industry and pressing issues of the development of domestic tourism in the country. Taranum is a law under this circle in order to support song, dance ensemble and to find new faces of artists. The Republican Festival of Song and Dance Ensemble was held in the State Academy of Drama Theatre named after Abu Kosin Loti. The report of our colleagues in this regard.
holding the Republican Festival of Song and Dance Ensembles under the title Taranum Istiglol as an important measure in the direction of the support of song and dance ensembles. It helps in their regular activity and finding new faces of artists. Song and Dance Ensembles are a group of people with interest, joint artistic activity to create and revive a cultural value in the form of national song and dances and contribute to the development of the national culture and art. In the final round of the festival, which began with the presentation of the cultural program, the Deputy Minister of Culture of the Republic of Tajikistan spoke and mentioned that the state independence of the Republic of Tajikistan played a significant role in the achieving important achievements and good news in the cultural and spiritual life of the Tajik people, contribute to the formation of the state policy in the field of the culture and provide wide opportunities for the development and the strengthening. It should be said that in order to develop the organizational, structural, legal and financial financial activity of songs and dance ensembles, the government of the country has implemented beneficial measures and currently 22 song and dance ensembles are registered in the country and under the culture departments of cities and districts are active. According to the conclusion of the working creative group, the song and dance ensembles of the cities and districts of the country have qualified for the final round and they performed at this event. At the end of the culture program, the officials honored the participants with diplomas. The Republican Contest El Furga Marifa is held annually under the patronage of the presence of the Republic of Tajikistan. Honorable Emmanuel Rahman in the territory of the country, covering various segments of the society. The winners of the Republican run of this contest were welcomed in Mir Said Ali Hamadoni district with great joy by representatives of the various professions and residents of the district. More details are for the next report. Paying attention to the development of science and increasing the level of knowledge, a question of the young generation, which is currently in the center of attention of the government of the Republic of Tajikistan, organizing and holding high-level competition, has increased the number of younger generation. The recognition of the use of Mir Said Ali Hamadoni district in the final round of the Republican competition in Furughi Marifat, which was welcomed by the district leadership, teachers and students with sincerity, was recognized as a proof of the support and motivation of the district participant by the officials of the authorities as a means of honoring the winners. It was the holding of such competition that during the last years the interest of the teenagers and young people in studying modern science has increased more than ever and their success in the field of invention and innovation has increased. In the final round of the Republican contest in Furughi Marifat, three participants from the General Secondary Education Institutions No. 4 from the district of Mir Said Ali Hamadoni competed and two participants won. Creating conditions for science improving the educational progress with the construction of modern education institutions as a basis for the progress of the students participants of these competitions. The other side of their success is attribute to the comprehensive support of the country's government and the teenagers and leaders of their educational institutions. Young people also respond to the growing concrete of the government of the country, which has provided the best opportunities for them and tried to keep up with the scientific innovations and the use of modern technology and by the studying modern sciences contribute to the development of the production and progress of the country. Environmental education along with the promotion of state control is one of the most important areas of the environmental protection authorities. In this regard, the residents of any district of South region participated in the environmental clean-up campaign and made the territory of the district clean and tidy. More details are for the next report. Keeping the environment clean and tidy and solving ecological problems is not only the duty of the environmental protection workers and specialists, but also the duty of society and every citizen. The Department of the Environmental Protection of INA District, dedicated to the 35th anniversary of the state independence of the Republic of Tajikistan, keeping the residential area clean and dated to improve the environmental condition of the district by involving the employees of the organization and enterprises carried out action of local cleanliness and improvement of the living area. The implementation of such improvement measures will make the streets and neighborhoods beautiful and encourage residents and guests who visit this corner of the country for the purpose of the visiting and relaxing. This initiative was carried out with the participation of the hundreds of people in rural communities, including on the Dushanbe Channok Highway. In this beautification measures, the participants of this action started to organize beautification and cleaning works collectively 
from the entrance of the district and clean it the territory of the district from the plastic waste. It should be noted that the protection of the environment and the ecology as a whole requires each of us to contribute to the greenness of the country and make every effort to provide a good and healthy environment for the residents and visitors of the country. Dear viewers, at last pay attention to the foreign news by Rachel Jongirion. The South African government makes it easy for the most populous countries to get tourist visas. According to the Ministry of Tourism of South Africa, this relief is considered useful for increasing the number of tourists from among the most populous nations. It is said that many tourists face difficulties in obtaining a visa, and this can reduce the number of tourists. South Africa has reportedly recognized the importance of tourist development as a means of combating unemployment at 33%. However, it is a fact that the country has constantly faced criticism for the introduction of regulations and problem of tourist arrivals. At the same time, it was reported that the online visa system, which is available in about 34 countries of the world, faces operational problems and despite certain qualification requirements such as eliminating the need for bank statements, the secure verification procedure still leads to delays. According to report, the goal is now to reach 15 million tourists by 2030. Constantine is one of the oldest cities in the world in the east of Algeria and is known as the city of the Hanging Bridge. The architecture of the city offers tours to the tourists and residents. In the city of Constantine, one can remember the history of the city only through the remains of archaeology residences and settlements. Gardens of Ahmed Bey Palace, one of the rare art of Muslims, is located on the outskirts of the city and attracts the attention of tourists. According to the director of the National Public Museum of Art and Traditional Culture Expressions of the city, the palace was built in 1826 by Ahmed Bey the last barricade of eastern Algeria. The architecture is built in the local Maurish style. There are four pavilions, are two gardens, a plum grove and an orange grove. Visitors to Constantine can also visit the Ami Abdul Qadir Mosque, a masterpiece of African Islamic architecture. The head of its towers is more than 100 meters. Many objects and mosaics are still beautifully preserved. Today, these can be found in the Timgad Museum, which gives an idea of the wonders of this ancient city. Most sportsmen can enjoy a walk to the gorge along the river lined with fruit trees that were once cultivated by the local population. Dear viewers, this was all the news up until now. Thanks for watching us. Goodbye.